Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog as we are on our road to success where we don't stop until we reach our greatest potential. I just picked up the big baby so we're just now getting the vlog started this afternoon. It is 3 o'clock. Say hey boo. Hey boo. You said to say hey boo so I said hey boo. Okay. We're at the park you guys. We're about to let the kids, well we were going to let the kids run around. Ace is in the bag, knocked out. He is going to miss all the little festivities. But we can't let it wow because cause the duck, because the ducks are jaywalking. Ducks were jaywalking. I was trying to pull in the parking lot. They were literally jaywalking, you guys. But, yeah, so I just want to say hey, y'all. And welcome back to Ray's World. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, Hey y'all, thank you guys for the continued support. All right y'all, let's get out this um, out this car. Y'all seen this park before. This park was on one of my other vlogs and probably another vlog before that. Uh, we are always at this park. This is a cute little park. It has a little trail with a little waterfall and a little, um, the kids and, are caged and the, in. Um, the water is on right there. Oh yeah, you're not getting in the water though. So yeah, the kids are caged in. That's what I like. Y'all know I like that because one way in, one way out. I need to see every little thing. So yeah, we're about to get out and we're about to have some fun. We're gonna run around and burn off some energy. If you haven't seen my and last, go to sleep. and then they're gonna go to sleep. If you haven't seen my last vlog, day four, go ahead and check that out. And then yeah, we'll see y'all at the park. All right, y'all. So we finally woke Sleeping Booty Beauty up. Hey, He's, what is it? Yeah, the park. No. And so we're good, babe. He says Sam. He calling his brother. Yeah. Come on, gotta push it. No. So yeah, look at his hair, y'all. I took his braids out because finally we're about to do both kids here as soon as we get home i'm gonna wash them up in the tub get them real nice and ready for the bed um i'm gonna cook and do both of their hair so yeah what nope it's food at the house anyways y'all i have had a day the last couple days okay so yeah let me wash these little babies and um yeah i'll pick back up with y'all when we get to the house so y'all can see the process of me washing these heads y'all i need it i need an assistant <laughs> i need an assistant all right y'all bye all right y'all so now that we're back at home i'm about to make some smother pork chops I had to go to the store and literally get everything because I've been craving it. And I don't even eat pork chops like that, but I've been craving these. So I'm about to whip them up and make some mashed potatoes as well. I'm gonna take y'all step by step on what I do to make my gravy. You don't have to, don't judge me or none of that because you ain't gotta eat it. Okay. Mm, it's gonna be. Finger looking good. So, I'm not gonna bore y'all too much. I'm gonna just get started on this food because I'm hungry. So, now that we patted these dry, we washed them off, patted them dry, let's season these bad boys. And we're just gonna grab our seasonings, hold on. Okay, so now that we got our seasonings, I can get on here and talk with y'all. So, I have never even, I have not said this out loud, but, as many of y'all who follow me on like Instagram and just been seeing me, seeing my vlogs, y'all have not seen my other half. So I'm speaking on my own behalf, not on his. But yeah, your girl is single. Mm hmm. 
She outside. No, she ain't outside. But I am single. And I've been single for like, mm, I would say like three months now. And this is the first time I've said it out loud, even to myself, like that I am single. So, yeah. And we don't do no bashing of the baby daddies at all. Neither one of them. Just because at the very end of the day, we're still a family. And we have these beautiful little kiddos who we both equally love so much. And we're not bashing them online, okay? Or each other online. We're not doing that. Whatever happened in a relationship happened in a relationship. But they're both the father of my kids and I respect them for that. So, yeah. But with that being said, am I looking to get picked up? I mean, yeah, of course, one day. I wanna be a wife, you know? I wanna be a wife, that is my desire. I, I have never really had a great example of what a good marriage looks like. So I just wanna create my own and show my kids that marriage is supposed to be a lovely thing and not something you just do because either you have a kid together or people are forcing you to do it, but just do it because you feel like you found your soulmate and this is your partner and you wanna do life with this person. And yeah, so I really just wanna show my kids a positive marriage just because I have never really seen one. I cannot tell you one person or one marriage that I look up to and that's sad. I am about to be 30. So yeah, I do desire to be married one day, but I am not looking to be dating right now. I have a lot of things that I know that God is preparing me for in a wife that I do not have right now in my life. I do not, I need to implement some changes in my life in order to be somebody's wife, okay? So yeah, I just want to update y'all with that, but y'all just see me seasoning my, um, my pork chop, I didn't do too much. And I'm gonna do the other side and put some flour on it. So I'll be right back, y'all. Now that both sides is seasoned, we're about to get these bad boys off into the skillet, okay? Okay, so we're gonna slowly drop them in here. And they're only gonna be in here for a few minutes because we don't, uh, we're not trying to cook it all the way through. I mean, we do want it to be cooked, but we're gonna smother it, so it's gonna cook in that too. So we're gonna do it on each side and then I'm gonna come back once they're done. Now look at how beautiful and golden brown these bad boys look. Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> now we're about to make the gravy. Now we got some onions going in the grease that we cooked our pork chops just for some added flavor. Then we're gonna add a little bit of flour just to be a thickening agent. And we're just gonna get that to cook all the way down, okay? You wanna make sure you cook your flour because if not, that's nasty. So now once that's thick and cooked but not too cooked and too burnt, we're gonna add some stock to it. Some people add water, some people add stock. I'm adding stock today. Just to enhance the mother loving flavors. Then we gonna stir that baby around. Mm, 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 mm. It's already looking bomb. Dicom, okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add some of this uh, Creole seasoning just a little bit. It's gonna be fire. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, and then I also, I seen this on YouTube. Somebody added this a while ago when I was first learning how to make it. Some better than bouillon chicken base. Oh, just a little bit though. And it, I found that it takes the flavors literally over the top, okay? We're also gonna add some paprika. Yep, just for some coloring, you know. Some garlic powder because we already got onions. We don't need no onion powder. So we're gonna add some garlic powder in there. 
Okay, so now that we mixed everything back up, we are about to cover this bad boy up and allow it to simmer and do its thug fizzle and get thick and ooh, let the flavors marinate. So we're gonna turn the fire to a low heat just to let it do its thing. We don't wanna burn it and we don't wanna, you know, when it's be cooking all day. Maybe about two to three minutes and then we're gonna come back and check on it, okay? Okay, y'all, so it's been a few minutes. Let me check on it. Oh, I turned the heat down a little bit. But y'all, oh my God, this is some good old thick old gravy. Look, y'all, mm. look how they look. Hold on, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. So we're gonna add our pork chops now. We're gonna add them back to the pan and let them do they thing, okay? Now that each side is coated, we're gonna cover that bad boy up. So I started doing my potatoes before I even turned on the camera and I'm like, oh snap, let me get this in. But yeah, I like to keep the skin on the potatoes because they're very high in like fiber and potassium and vitamin B. So it's a really good healthy choice. So I like it. I mean, to each his own, if you don't like it, don't do it. And I also like yellow potatoes because they're they're really good. So that's what I made. And I just added some milk. I'm about to add some butter. My secret ingredient is, one of my secret ingredients is um, onion and chive cream cheese. Don't knock it until you try it, okay? It's so fire. But let me get this all whipped up because I still got to check on them some other potatoes, okay? So I'll be right back. Uh, so literally I add just a little bit you see? I don't know why it's not focusing on there. It's so bright. But anyway, just a little bit of this, this cream cheese spread. <laughs> it literally take your mashed potatoes over the top. So I'm gonna add that in, add some more milk into this bad boy. And yeah, we'll come right back. Narco, narco, got dope like Pablo. Pablo, cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop trees with the Draco. Draco, on the north got Diego. Diego, say I'm still a wiggle. Y'all, y'all can't tell me my food don't look good. Would you eat it? Comment down below, would you eat it? Would you try it? I'm, I promise y'all, it's fire. I'm gonna go ahead and um, play everybody's. Take this white um, robe off so I could get my fingers dirty and I'll catch y'all a little later. <laughs> Bye, y'all. All right, y'all. It is clearly much later. It is almost eight o'clock at night and I really just been dreading doing this. <laughs> I'm about to wash these kids' hair and do their hair. Oh my goodness, this is so good. They have way too much hair, you guys. Like, seriously way too much so i am about to do ace first because his is a little bit easier sammy's is very thick like his hair is so thick so i try to do his last because ace i could just knock it out the way sammy's on the other hand it takes some detangling okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna prop you guys up I'm gonna do Ace's hair. I'm gonna wash it, condition it, uh, comb it out, rinse it out, and then do Sammy's hair, wash it, condition it, comb it out, rinse it out, and then we'll go into like the braiding process of it. <sighs> Y'all, pray for me. <laughs> okay, let's not waste any more time so they don't be asleep at 11 o'clock. Let's just get this done right now. Okay.
Hey y'all, so I'm finally done doing the boys hair. Ace is over there on the couch, knocked out. Now he went to sleep while I was doing Sammy's. But yeah, look at my baby. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I'm about to finish this movie and then I'm going to hit the bed as well. So I will catch y'all on tomorrow's vlog. Bye.